Thank you for joining me today on Good News with Twanda Black, where we're discovering some of the most inspiring trials to triumph stories and empowerment moments. Call up a friend and let them know it's time for some good news. Welcome to Good News with Twanda Black. Hi, I'm Twanda Black. It's such a pleasure to have you here joining us and enjoying the guest that we bring. So hold on. Here's good news. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm Twanda Black and joining me today, Grammy nominated and stellar winning and all these different things and uh, just a wonderful artist. Brian Courtney Wilson joins us. How are you, Brian? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? Doing wonderful. You holding it down down there in Texas? One day at a time. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> One breath at a time. You know? yep. <laughs> how has how has it been for you uh, in 2020 in, in with COVID? All things considered, you know, we've been grateful. You know, it hasn't, um, you know, we didn't see any huge hits to my family from a health standpoint. I think the hardest part was, you know, when we all watched George Floyd get murdered. Oh, my know, God. Just dealing with that. Yeah. Especially being here in Houston because he was uh, from the Third War. So mm-hmm. it really hit us hard here. Um, and I know personally it was uh, just kind of disruptive to my psyche. But, yeah. you know, we kept it moving. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you just kind of remember that that's not the first time, you know, and we've survived more. We're going to keep true. on kicking and we're going to keep on thriving. It's so, true. It's true. we got so much work to do in that yeah. space of race and justice and those issues and just being human beings, you know. Absolutely. We, we've got so much to do in those areas. But you bring us good music to to feel by, to think by, to work by and all that good stuff. Talk about your career. I remember when you just came on the scene. My God, how many years ago was that? What is it, close to fifteen now? When I think about it. Yeah, close to fifteen, and yeah, uh, I remember it like it was yesterday. You know, putting out all I need and wondering if anybody was yes. gonna care about it. You know, uh, fast forward, that song ended up breaking a record on Billboard, I'm and you. you know, we're we're working through our fifth pro- solo project now. You know, I found out top of the year, I was the top, I was the fifteenth top selling gospel artist of the decade. Wow! I had no idea. Uh, another colleague had to send it to me and tell me. But when I looked back over it, I was just all I could say is thank you. you know, yeah, has, has kept. Yeah. And thank you to everybody that supported along the years too. Mm-hmm. That that was it was such a beautiful song when it came out, and and then we met you, and you were so quiet and unassuming and humble, and we were like, oh my god, <laughs> 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 this guy's awesome, you know. And, and really and Thank truly, you. I have to say, over the 15 years, you haven't changed much. No, no, I, I probably, I put a little on, weight on. Well, just the, I ain't talking about that part. <laughs> 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 we all done did that, okay? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, I just but stay just, grateful, just you know, I'm just thankful. Character-wise, you haven't changed much. Mm-mm. But that's, that's kind of you to say, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You talk a little bit more, because I remember when I first met you, very quiet. Very yeah. quiet. You probably like scoping out oh lord what have i got myself into in this music industry absolutely I, you know <laughs> I, and I'll, I'll just be frank about that yes I, I was looking around and then you know you get to a point where you feel like okay now it's time for you to really open up and contribute and so that's yeah. what i feel like more than anything that's my prayer um really day one is that i i contribute in a way that adds value and adds value in a way that honors um, the people that have come before me and the music that have come before me, like I feel like I'm here on people's shoulders, you know. Yeah. And so I just wanted to be a part of that, continuing that legacy because of the way the music kept me. Mm, mm-hmm. You know, and that has to be quite a burden. I hear a lot of artists say that, and it, it has to be quite a burden. So talk about your process of writing, how you choose your songs, because. Those songs mean so much to the heart of the people. Um, so talk about that for a moment, because that is a burden. You know, the biggest the biggest burden, though, is just um, 
doing it in a way where you can continue to do it. And so I always just, I try to be as an artist, first of all, true to my heart and what's in my heart. And then as a business person, okay, mm-hmm. what's, what's true to my heart that's going to add value? Because if you add value, then people are willing to invest in it. And that's how you, you continue to be able to do it. So that's the biggest burden is like marrying, okay, what's in my heart to what's going to really benefit the community and finding that out. Mm-hmm. You get that through prayer and, and experimentation and feedback, you know, and so um, that's that's what the process has been about to me. And then learning over the years, um, you know, where you may have made some mistakes and where some stuff really, really worked. Yeah. And then, you know, how, how to keep moving forward in ways that evolve what you're doing. You know, um, when uh, Worth Worth Fighting For came out. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my God. The best song. I think that was an anthem for so many people. That was such a beautiful song. Yes, man. We, we've been fortunate in that regard. Fortunate, one, because I love to sing it. You know, and, and making songs like that that people really like and that you mm-hmm. like to sing. That was, that's been a blessing. And I have. I've gotten that type of feedback consistently. So, again, that's what I pray for. So now, you know, we notice that you do ballots mostly. Yeah, people have said that. At least that's what we put out on singles uh, mm-hmm. you know, when we go to radio. Um, and I, I'm pretty good at it, Tawanda. And I'm, I'm not, you know, <laughs> I, I guess what I'm saying is I, I know that I distinguish myself in that area. But we also, we do, we're trying to do fast songs too. You got to do that too, just so you I can know. Get, get your concert done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, we, again, that's part of the evolution. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The, the new, the new uh, project that, now, did you work on that before COVID, the year before COVID, or were you working on this new project last year? Mostly during COVID. Yeah, okay. In fact, in this very room where I'm sitting now, where we were, you know, uh, quarantined, mm-hmm. uh, I kind of retrofit the room so I could start recording. I had never done recording here at my house. Uh, so we finished a lot of that record here during that period. Um, and I would say a lot of what we were going through informed that record. Mm-hmm. Of, you know, and so uh, it was one of the hardest records I had to do because of the, of the logistics. But it also was rewarding because yeah. of what we got out of it. Yeah. Were you surprised when it was over? You were like, oh, my God, I did this in my house. <laughs> to a certain extent, yeah. I was, you know, it was like um, there's a song on, on the record called Waiting that speaks yeah. to that. Like yeah. how sometimes you you already sitting on what you need. You just got to go ahead and start working with it. And so, yeah. Um, yeah. There were times finishing that song in this room where I would kind of well up with tears. Because the Lord was revealing that, mm. Mm. and that's, that's not the only place. There are places in all of our lives and different areas where, man, you might be a little stagnant because you're waiting on something to happen outside of your circumstance, right. where it's right there with you. You already got it. Like two fish, five loaves of bread. You know, you thought it was just lunch, but it really was a miracle for the whole community. That day. that's right. That's right. That's that's an amazing analogy. Um, you actually uh, paired up. With my girl Miranda. Yeah, that's that's smashed. I love Miranda. She's a pro's pro. Uh, every time I've gotten to see her live before uh, we worked together, I just always enjoyed it. And Donald Lawrence actually shouted her out on Instagram one day, and then said, "Man, you all you all should get together and sing. Ain't no need to worry." Oh my god! And it just so sparked for me because that's where I was topically with the record. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, I love Miranda. And just by faith, I reached out to her and Justin Savage. Uh, and they agreed to work with me on it. And I'm grateful. That's beautiful. That, she's so powerful. Yeah, yeah. She's, That's a powerful woman right there. I love Yes, yes, yes. Now, um, still, of course, is the single. We're all working right now. And just uh, beautiful encouragement about you know just sitting still sometimes and working through stuff and, and waiting on God and that's so hard for us to do it can be uh, but it's I think it's required in many instances especially when you feel anxious um, you got to learn to do that the most you got to learn to um, kind of quiet the spirit and focus on your assignment focus on what you got right in front of you um, 
Because what, what you have right in front of you, a lot of times, is the answer to somebody else's prayer. Sure. And that answer could help calm the storm, so to speak. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. If, you, if you get anxious and you stop doing what you're supposed to be doing, it kind of breaks down. So that's that's what this song speaks to. How how do you move a mountain? Yeah. You move a mountain yeah. You know, one, one pebble at a time. Definitely. You... Um... And, and sure as and we're talking about tempos, that that was a little bit different for you. You like that? Yeah. yeah it got a little Stevie Wonder feel. Shout out to uh, it Spencer Smith, Dana Saray, who worked on that <laughs> song, sent it to me. Uh, I dig the song a lot. I think it, again, just speaks to um, what fortifies us. And that's the fact that regardless of what's sifting around us, what's changing, how the storm winds blow, God uh, is a constant. We can be still and know that God is going to be God in the situation. That's right. You know, just and wait it out and see what's happening. Through, see what through all of 2020, fear is not welcome. I love that song. Oh, I man. love the message in that song, you know? I heard it first day and I knew that was going to be a song that was going to sing itself. Mm-hmm. Whether we promoted it or not. Um, we've already, I don't, can I say this? I had BYU reach out to me. Wow. Say they wanted to do remake of the song they have a group called vocal point mm-hmm. they do like take six type uh acapella versions it's beautiful so we got so you heard it yes i got a chance to go to you U- well they wanted me to sing with them. so oh. they brought me to utah i've never been you know to utah i saw before. it i yeah. saw it on uh instagram or somewhere i saw you with them and i was like that's amazing it was yeah, beautiful it was i i'd never been there you know these are college guys Half of them are married, you know, yeah. because of that, that's the way they come up. And uh, man, we hung out, sang the song, and it is beautiful. I can't wait for people to hear it. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, the big thing on here that everybody's talking about is the Marvin Gaye cover. Oh, really? Why, why did you want to do that song? You know, um, it started out with as being like a Motown tribute. You know, I'm on Motown Gospel. And they wanted yeah. the gospel artist to cover some songs. And then that was just a song I've, I've always dug. I thought it spoke to where we are in the, in the times. Absolutely. Unfortunately, to be honest, because that song was written 50 years ago. Yeah. And you, we didn't have to change the lyric. It's still relevant today. Mm-hmm. Those mm-hmm. blues still exist. But I wanted to put it on this record because I believe we still have a reason to believe that those blues won't last it's too much good news yeah. uh, for us to spread through this gospel for those blues to last. But that doesn't mean we should deny them. They, they are still there. There's still issues that need to be confronted uh, any way we can. And so th- that's why I wanted to put it on the record. Yeah, Inner City Blues makes me want to holler. People like that, it. Such a great song. Okay, yeah. Such a great song. It was a great song. What I mean is, do they like me singing it though to Wanda? It's more like. <laughs> Did you mess it up, B? <laughs> I, I don't think you messed up. All right, all right. I, I think you know it, it shows um, it shows where your heart is in in things that really matter, you know, and and in this and where we are today in this environment that we are in today, justice matters. Absolutely. And so I, I just think it's an expression of where again, like you said, where we are, but also where your heart is, you know. You're like, yeah, it's an R&B song, but I'm gonna put this on here because it matters, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be frank with you. We're gonna go. We're gonna go deeper too. I'm gonna do more. Um, I'm a, I'm trying to find ways to be true to my heart and consistent with mm-hmm. my ministry, you mm-hmm. know, without boxing in my art too. Right. You know, what we doing. Right. So that's. Right. Um, I'm gonna keep taking chances like that. So I, I like appreciate it. Appreciate you yeah. saying something about that. Oh yeah. I think that um, a lot of artists are moving in that direction that they're not afraid anymore, that they have to be, like you said, boxed in and um, being able to say, hey, you know, I can do a little R&B. It's classy. It's, you know, and it has a message. Your song has a message. Um, You know, you're not talking about anything outside the norm of what what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I see a lot of artists doing that today. I think it's a great thing. It's a great thing. Yeah. Who else is doing that? I'm curious. I didn't know that. (laughs) 
real. <laughs> you look on those album cuts, you'll see some stuff. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm enjoying, you know, just just seeing the artists and especially in in their concert experiences. They'll break out with something else, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Talk about um for a moment what you learned about yourself last year in 2020 COVID just hitting we're, we're isolated in our homes you're making a studio in your house to, to finish your project so what was that thing that you really learned about you about Brian that's a great question uh, I would start with I got so much to be grateful for you know just looking around even um with the quote unquote confines that we were dealing with. Um, our situation is really good compared to some other people. Yeah. You know? Uh, so that's one thing for sure. And I, I'm 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 hesitant to say I learned it. I already knew it, but it's good <laughs> to get those reminders. Yeah. Thank yeah. to the fact that you got a lot to be great. Yeah. Um uh, and then you know just that we could do more. Like we mm-hmm. started this <laughs> We started this uh, thing called Breathe Again on Thursdays. And I kind of just started, my, one of my mentors said, hey, man, I want you to do a radio show for me. Mm-hmm. And I I had the time, so I pulled it together. And then we started doing these interviews on Thursday, like hour-long interview slots. And we've been doing them now for a year, you know. Wow. Just people coming in. I've had Bun B come on and talk to me. And Warren Campbell came on, just different people. April Ryan came in and spoke oh, to yeah. me just, and it was all about what, how they're dealing with this transition we find ourselves in, um, and taking that next breath with expectancy, yeah, uh, for the future that you want to see. And so, how do you, just, go ahead. I'm how, sorry. How do you think um, how you do ministry, how you do business, is going to change? when we can go back out when we're free to move around the cabin as you so speak um how do you think what you do and how you do is going to change that's another great question to wonder like as, as if you do this all the time <laughs> <laughs> how is it going to change um you know what I one thing I think churches are learning um, is how much can be done virtually. Oh right? yeah, for and sure. So there's some things that I think churches thought they needed to do or had to do to um, to give their uh, church families an experience that they can kind of pare down, so to speak, and do it virtually. So I think that's going to change it. And mm-hmm. It's going to require uh, artists like myself to be able to deliver virtually. Make sure uh-huh. we're prepared to do so. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just think, generally speaking, uh, it is it has raised the bar for us technologically. Like we got to really be up on our for sure. game in that regard. You know, for sure. Just down to doing this interview and figuring out how we're gonna get the streamyard thing. Done, <laughs> you know? So I think that's one thing for sure that's gonna that's gonna change uh, whether we can travel or not. You right. Know? We got to right. step that up. Is that you may have that option of, hey man, you ain't really gotta come. You know, can we give you a lesser amount <laughs> and and you do it virtually and send us the video? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, and you know, lesser amount, like you don't you're not paying for the travel, you're not paying for the right. lodging and stuff. Right, like right, that. right. Yeah, yeah. I think that um having the options are going to be phenomenal. Um I'm hoping that you know, of course, we'll still be able to go into our arenas and have nice concerts and and be able to come together in that way. But it may not happen for a minute, you know? Right, right. Yeah. And that's not to discount the value of our gathering because there's, there's nothing like that, especially in the gospel. Space right. Where we're all in one room and there's this resonant um, revelation that God is present, mm-hmm. God's power is sufficient. And then we sing about it. There's nothing yeah. that compares to that. Uh, yeah. But again, you got to work with what you got. And so mm-hmm. in, in the confines that we've been dealing with of late, we figured out a way. And that's, yeah. oh man, I love it. I love that churches figured out a way. Yeah. You know? um, and, and some churches were probably resistant. And now it's like, okay, we got to figure it out. 
And now we are figuring it out. And I love it. You know what I mean? So it's, it's but my, my pastor thing. says he's concerned because the people have gotten so comfortable. They may not want to come back to church. I tell you, I got one preacher. He told me this, man. He said the offerings, the offerings are coming from people that are, you know, they don't All necessarily over. want to come back. That's right. It's the people right. that want to come back that need it the most. Man, that's just so, it's complicated. You know what I mean? Because that yeah. gathering is for it's for the people that need it the most, but yeah. they don't always yeah. fund it. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's going to be another um, another issue or, or a revelation of how do we bring people back into the church house, you know? So we'll see when it comes. Why do we bring them back? Yeah, yeah. And, and why do they need to come back, <laughs> you know? What, it, um, what was it always, what was it about anyway? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's going to be interesting. And I think probably end of the year going into next year when everything may be um, back to normal. So I don't think we're ever going to be back to normal. No, but no normal. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we're ever going back. Never, 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 never. Tell me about your family. Um, how was it being with your family uh, for an entire year almost? And it was, being, it at was, the, being at the house, you know? It was great. Um, you know, I'm an empty nester now, but it was like it was kind of delayed. So both my kids were supposed to go back to school. My, my son was starting his freshman year. Mm-hmm. So it's like I got bonus time with him wow. in particular because he was at home with me. My daughter was here. Um, so it was great for me. I don't know if it was great for them because they were ready, you know. To, to <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, but I also think that once they left, because my son, he's he's now back. My daughter's finishing up her junior year at Cornell, and my, my son is at USC. It made them more grateful for the opportunity, you know, that they had a place to be, and yes. had a place to come home to. Yeah. So in yeah. that regard, it was very, very cool. And now, you know, it's just my, my wife and I just figuring out, okay, well, so what do we do with all this free space and time, <laughs> you know, to keep moving forward. So that's where we're at. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So we're going to circle back around to still. Uh, that is the project that is now uh, hitting the airwaves. You've got to hear all of these other wonderful songs. And I'm sure uh, after still, what's going to be the next release? You know, I don't know. I you don't know yet? Me. I know. Yeah. I know. Uh, again, we've been doing work on Fears Now Welcome. Um, I mentioned BYU. I, I believe I can mention this. We, we did a collaboration. Um, I don't know that I can mention this shit. I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> don't and mention we, it. We got some special stuff coming up in the summertime around the okay. record and adding some deluxe uh, singles to it. Um, uh, <laughs> I just actually worked with Legacy the other day. So I can't for people to hear what we did. That's and bad girl right there. Woo. Man, and she was a big, she was just a ball of joy, man. And um, affirmation, and so I'm so excited um, that we were able to connect, and uh, the fruit of what we were able to do. Oh, that's gonna be special! It. We can't wait. We're excited about the summer. Do you have anything coming up that we can see virtually? Um, that's that's coming up in the meantime. Let me see, Bert, because I'm traveling this week. We'll be at Dallas this week. Uh, there's a constant. You know what? The best answer to that is to go to my Instagram page. I'll let you know that. There you go. Uh, Brian Courtney Wilson is the Instagram page. And actually start following me on Facebook too because like I said, we do these Thursday night Breathe Agains. I'm not sure when this is going to air, but every Thursday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time and until the Lord says different, we'll be there with a song because I, I open with a song mm-hmm. uh, or and a sit down with a, a very special guest. So we'd love for you to join us there as well. Love it. Uh, they can find your music where? Everywhere music is streamed and downloaded. And if you get confused, go to my website, BrianCourtneyWilson.com. <laughs> we'll get you straightened out. All right, Brian. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. God bless you. We thank look you for so me. forward to all that uh, is going to come up for you coming up this year. God I bless you. It. Yes, ma'am. We're going to have a good time. Yes. Thanks for joining me here at Good News with Twanda Black. I pray that you've enjoyed our special guest for today. Look, follow me on Facebook at Twanda Black ATL or on Instagram and on Instagram at The Real Twanda B. 
God bless you and keep on coming back, all right?